What would happen if Napoleon won the Battle of Trafalgar? If Napoleon won the Battle of Trafalgar, it would mean that we would control the oceans. If he controlled the oceans, it would mean that Napoleon could mount an invasion of Britain, and due to the size of Napoleon's army, he would likely be able to conquer the British Isles. Without Britain to help it, the U.S. would likely conquer Canada. With Britain knocked out of the war, Russia would likely sue for peace. The reason that Napoleon invaded Egypt in the late 1700s was that so that he could invade India, and so, once Napoleon controlled the ocean, he would also likely try to invade India. Napoleon likely used the ex-British colonies as a springboard to invade the native Rajas of the local area. And, because Napoleon would be technologically more militarily advanced, with inventions such as massed firepower and drill, he would likely win and conquer all of India. Also, Napoleon would likely invade the Caribbean to get the rich sugar plantations in that area, which produced a lot of gold and money in that time, and he would likely use the British colonies of Jamaica and the Bahamas as a springboard to reconquer Haiti and other lands in the Caribbean. Napoleon would likely live longer in this timeline into the 1830s because he would be treated better as Emperor of the Caribbean, Europe, and India than he was in our timeline as a prisoner on a small island in the South Atlantic, and there's even a theory that he was poisoned on this small island, but anyway, he would likely live longer, and after he died, he would likely pass on the reins of rule to his son, Napoleon II, but Napoleon II would likely still die of pneumonia in the 1830s, and after Napoleon II's death, the throne would be up for grabs. Napoleon's death would likely lead to a crown war in between the relatives of Napoleon that Napoleon placed onto the thrones of other European nations. For example, Napoleon placed his brother on the throne of Holland and his uncle on the throne of Sardinia. Britain would likely take this opportunity to declare independence and rebel, and because all of the French troops would be off fighting on the continent, the British would likely be successful. The Prussians would also likely declare independence and rebel, and because the French troops would also likely be fighting in between the different candidates to the throne, the Prussians would also likely be successful in their rebellion. The Austrians would not rebel, though, as one of Napoleon's relatives married into the Austrian royal family, and thus the Austrians would likely be instead trying to get the whole French Empire as they would have a claim to the throne, instead of rebelling. The Crown War would likely be won by one of Napoleon's relatives that he placed on one of the thrones of Europe, such as the Kingdom of Holland, from which he placed his brother on the throne of. As the French emperor who would be controlling Austria would have bigger issues than the Balkans, the French emperor would likely not fund anti-Ottoman rebellions in the Balkans, similarly to how the Austrian emperor did in our timeline, and so the Ottomans would likely control the Balkans much later than they did in our timeline. As Canada would likely be free states in this timeline, to create a balance between free and slave states, when the U.S. would defeat Mexico in the Mexican-American War, the U.S. would likely annex more of North Mexico than they did in our timeline to create a balance between free and slave states. Because the French had defeated the um, British Navy at the Battle of Trafalgar, and the British would only have had 50 years to rebuild a navy since 1830, the, it would mean that during the colonization of Africa and Asia by the Europeans in the 1880s, 90s, and 19, early 1900s, the French would have the strongest navy in the world, and so the French would likely get the best pick of colonies, like Egypt and East Africa, while Britain would get second best pick, like North Africa and West Africa and Indochina. World War One in this timeline would likely be America, Britain, Prussia, Russia, and the Ottomans ganging up on France because they would deem France too powerful and they would want to take down France before it became too powerful. Fighting would take place in many places, one of which would be central Germany in which the Prussians would fight against the French, as well as Normandy and Brittany in which the Americans and the British would also fight against the French. Fighting would also briefly take place in the Caribbean as the Americans would conquer the French Caribbean islands 
very quickly as the French troops would be fighting in Europe. Also, in the Danube Basin, Russian troops likely invade Romania and Slovenia, and a less dilapidated Ottoman Empire would likely invade north and strike into Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia, and Hungary. The Russians would likely invade India via the Northwest Territories, now called Pakistan. This may seem unlikely because Afghanistan in its mountainous terrain is in between India and Central Asia, but there was such a big British worry about this that there was this whole Cold War similar thing called the Great Game in which Britain and Russia vied for control over Afghanistan. This timeline will go into two directions, the first of which is when, in which the French win the war, and the second of which is w in which the French lose. This is because I honestly don't know who would win the war. On one hand, France is being attacked on all sides, but on the other hand, the def technologies and tactics of World War I were so biased towards the defender that France actually had a chance. France could win the war if they were able to outlast their enemies that were attacking them, because World War I is mainly a war of attrition, and so if the French were able to outlast their invaders, they would win the war, and so they would be able to keep their empire. World War II would likely happen, but in this timeline, it would be the enemies of France rebelling against France, as they would feel bitter towards France, similarly to how the Germans felt bitter towards the Western powers after the Western powers defeated Germany in World War I. Now we shall change to the second timeline in which France loses World War I. France could lose World War I if the French were so defeated in the battlefield that their soldiers would think that fighting was futile and mutiny, similarly to how the Germans lost World War I in our timeline. The French Empire would likely then be parceled up by its enemies. An angry France would then likely turn to fascism. France would then likely um, declare war on all of it, people who defeated it in World War I, and that would be World War II in this timeline. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or comment. What if Altist? Thank you for watching.